Meanwhile, in the U.S., the expansionist mood was at a fever pitch, with U.S. investments in Cuban sugar and mining industries steadily rising. In 1870, young Cuban Jose Marti had his first success as a rebel. He penned a patriotic poem against Spanish rule. The poem angered the Spanish government in Cuba so much, they jailed Marti for four months and sent him into exile. Unthwarted, Marti continued his political writing, calling for Cuban independence. It is terrible to speak of you, Liberty, for one who lives without you. A wild beast does not bend its knee before its tamer with greater fury. His tenacious spirit provided the Cuban people a national hero and hope of ending colonial rule. In 1894, Marti organized guerrilla actions, destroying U.S.-owned sugarcane plantations, hoping to provoke U.S. intervention in the Cuban plight against Spain. Spain sent an army under General Valeriano Weiler to crush the rebellion. Jose Marti was killed, but his revolution blazed on. Frustrated by rebel successes, General Weiler ordered 300,000 Cuban civilians into concentration camps. Thousands died, and the revolution seemed lost.